Hello everyone, today we can see the topic on the image processing and the interpretation. First of all, we can see the what is meaning mean by the image processing and interpretation. The image processing and interpretation uh, or the uh, analysis can be defined as the act of examining images for the purpose of uh, uh, identifying objects and judging their significance. As we know, the uh, different types of images can be captured with the help of remote sensing. Uh, uh, sensing technology or the aerial photography that images can be examined or the uh, studied with the help of the uh, image processing for the identifying the specific objects of the uh, surface of the earth and they are uh, judging their significance or the use of these uh, images for the uh, future and uh, image processing or interpretation is also defined as the study of remotely sensed data and the attempt uh, through logical processes in the detecting, identifying, classifying, measuring and evaluating the significance of physical and cultural objects uh, their patterns and the special relationships as the uh, data of, or the images can ca ca captured by the remote sensing technology or uh, and that uh, the images or the data should be processed in the detecting, the identifying classifying, measuring and evaluating the different types of the images and their significance with the physical and cultural objects and their pattern as well as the spatial relationship is this is called as the image processing and interpretation next one we can see the procedures commonly used in the analysis or interpreting the remote sensing images uh, there are different procedures that is first one pre-processing second one image enhancement third one image classification fourth one uh, special feature extraction and then fifth one measurement of bio geo physical parameters and sixth one gis that is geographical information system as the first one that is free processing then in, in that uh, prior to data analysis initial processing on the raw data is actually uh, usually carried out for any uh, distor distortion due to characteristics of the image Gene system and imaging conditions. In this pre-processing, whatever the images are co collected with the help of this uh, remote sensing or the uh, aerial photography, that images should be initially that is uh, considered as raw data, which uh, which is uh, converted or carried out for the sorting or sorting of these uh, images according to their uh, characteristics of these images, and then finally the imaging conditions uh, or classify or the and uh, identifying or uh, distributing or the uh, characteristics of the image should be studied in this pre-processing then depending on the re user's requirement the some standard correction procedures may be carried out by the ground uh, station pro operators before the data is delivered to the end users as the uh, processing of the images the uh, <coughs> user's requirement as per the or depending on the user's requirement standard correction procedures are used for the image processing and then can be carried out with the help of ground station operators before the data is delivered to the end users then procedures include the geometric corrections and the geometric uh, radiometric corrections which are used to corrections uh, procedure for the uh, <coughs> uh, user requirement that is one user to the other end users the radiometric corrections may be used to for the correct the uneven uh, uh, sensor response over, over the whole image as the image response is uh, uneven around distribution then there will be the radiometric corrections are used when the geometric corrections are used to correct for the geometric distortion uh, distortion due to the earth rotation as the earth moves or the motion uh, because of these uh, geometric corrections uh, are used for the image processing next one the image enhancement in order to add visual interpretation visual appearance of the objects with in the image can be improved by the image enhancement technique uh, with the help of uh, with, uh, uh, with the um, uh, method that is gray level stretching to improve the contrast and the spatial filtering for the enhancing of the image in this image enhancement the gray level uh, stretching or gray, gray level matrix or the use or that is jlm is used for the enhancement or improve the quality of the images which helps to 
and uh, helps to the visual interpretation and then objects and be uh, of the image of particular image can be improved properly by means of these uh, image enhancement techniques and then also the filtering of this uh, special information as well as uh, improving the contrast of the image and then next one the blue tint all over the image uh, producing hazy appearance is due to scattering of the sunlight by the atmosphere in to the field of the view uh, in the view of the sensor as the sensors which will be there the different types of appearance in the images where especially blue tint appearance will be developed with the help of image enhancement technique which will be <laughs> scattering uh, uh, due to the you know uh, scattering of the sunlight uh, by the atmosphere into the field uh, with the help of the sensors the image can be enhanced by simple uh, linear gray level stretching the, this is the gray level stretching mainly used in the uh, image enhancement uh, uh, technique which where the images can be visualized or uh, highlighted or improving the contrast or the filtering of the special information and then they, they then will we get the uh, ideal information or detailed information along with this image next one the third one uh, image classification there image uh, uh, that is remote sensing images or real photo real photography images are classified into two categories uh, that is needed for the image uh, measurements or the uh, to highlight the data of the specific area or specific objects with the help of this classification the images can be categorized that is supervised images a supervised classification and supervised classification in the supervised classification the spectral features of the specific area to know land covers types are extracted from the image and the areas which is no uh, term as the training areas in this uh, uh, supervised classification the spe spectral features that is as per the spectral spectral colors or the color intensity of these uh, images the of the specific land cover or land uh, areas which where the images can be extracted or it can be extracted from the different types of images and the areas which is majorly called as training area where the <laughs> spectral features of the image can be studied on the specific land covers and uh, every pixel of the image or the whole image is uh, classified belonging to the one of the classes depending on the how the close its spectral features in this uh, image classification the especially in supervised classification the whole image can be categorized or divided into sub units called as pixel which is used for the uh, classification of these uh, images uh, according to their fe spectral features then the second one unsupervised classification in this classification this is a computer program automatically group the pixels in the image uh, into the separate cluster depending on the special fe spectral features uh, in this uh, unsupervised classification, this is a sub uh, computerized program which where the pixels are, <coughs> uh, uh, means all images are converted into the small pixels or the small units called as pixel. And afterwards, the uh, that pixels are uh, separated into the different types of the clusters which will be the identify or to uh, uh, to make easily identifiable data. Uh, especially uh, along with their spectral features and the each class of the land cover is uh, referred to as a theme and the product of the classification is known as the thematic map as the unsupervised classification the images are converted into the pixel with the help of computer device and then uh, this uh, image pixels are again uh, converted into the different uh, into the clusters and this uh, uh, clusters uh, cl classification is based on the spectral features and afterward the each class of these uh, land covers is referred as a theme and then product of the classification is known as the thematic map that is uh, especially for this especially land covers which is uh, uh, used for the or which is uh, categorized under the map which will with the help of this thematic map the next one for the special feature extraction in this special resolution imagery, details such as buildings and roads can be seen. In case of the road and buildings, which where the uh, special resolution imagery are used, that is in the higher or lower or the medium 
are the different types of resolution imagery but in case especially in buildings and roads the high resolution imagery can be used in order to fully exploit the special information contained in the imagery image processing and an analysis can be done that is to exploit or to explain in detail the uh, information regarding these uh, uh, uh images of the specific objects which will be in, uh, compiled or in, it will be uh details uh, process with the help of the images and the analysis also can be done accordingly then a high a multi resolution approach or the image is also used to uh, useful strategy for when the dealing with very high resolution imagery multi uh, resolution imagery and the high resolution imagery in between there is the multi uh, resolution imagery is a useful strategy with developing with the high quality images or the resolution imagery in this case uh, also the pixels based on the uh, pixel based method can be used in low resolution uh, mode and merge with the contextual and a textu textural method at high resolution in this uh, spectral feature extraction and the uh, pixels uh, can be Um, pixel based method can be used for the in case especially in low resolution uh, images and then converted into the uh, high uh, resolution with the help of this merge and mode of the contextual or the contextual uh, methods this is the spe uh, special feature extraction then fifth one measurement of bio bio geo physical parameters in this case the specific instrument carried out on board the satellites can be used to make the measurement of the bio geo physical uh, parameters of the earth where there is the some kinds of the uh, or extent of the atmospheric water vapor contained uh, chlorophyll concentration and then uh, land and sea water surface temperature sea water then uh, forest biomass are the some important uh, bio physical parameters which are used to for the as a specific instrument uh, of the satellite to make the image processing and interpretation then gis 61 different forms of the images or imagery such as special and the radar images as well as this optical images which are used to provide the complementary information about the different types of the land covers of the uh, on the earth uh, more detailed information can be derived by the combining several different types of the images the thematic information derived from these remote sensing images is often combined with the auxiliary data to form the basis of uh, gis as we know that with the help of gis we have to analyze the data compiling data dissemination data transmitting data and the finally creating the maps with the help of these images uh, uh, collected with the help of remote sensing or the aerial photography that images can be uh, helps tool to com give the detailed information specific complementary information of the different types of uh, land covers and this detailed information can be combined with uh, derived by combining several uh, different types of the images and with the help of gis the thematic information and derived from these uh, image different types of images into the auxiliary data this is the today's topic that is image processing and interpretation and then pro its definition procedures commonly used in the image processing and interpretation thank you